What's going on guys, it's the how-to guy 123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play PSP games on your Android device. It's pretty straightforward and this should work on most Android devices made within the last few years. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to the Play Store and go to the search bar and search PPSSPP. Uh, this is the app we're going to use to play our PSP games, to emulate our PSP games. So go ahead and install it. Um, in the search bar also, or not in the search bar, when you search it, there might be another one um, here. Uh, the gold version, you can use that if you want. There's not much of a difference between the two, but the paid one is just to support the developer. You're also going to want to download this um, app called Alvar. Uh, this is going to be used to extract our games, which come in RAR files. Um, you can use really any RAR extractor, but I like this one. It's made by the people who make uh, WinRAR for the PC, and uh, I really like it. So let's go ahead and download it, and uh, I will come back when both the apps are downloaded. Alright, so both apps have downloaded and installed. Next, go to your internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome, and uh, go into the description of this uh, video, and there should be a link for this uh, site called MU Paradise. Um, what this is, is a um, website where we can download our games. Um, just go down here to PSP ISOs. Um, you can really use any website to get your games, or they're also known as ROMs, um, or ISOs, that is. Um, I like this site, it has a, a wide range of games, but like I said, you can use whatever website you want. Just make sure your games are ISO files or CSO files. So I'm going to download uh, Need for Speed, Must Wanted. Did I? What did I do? All right. There we go. Uh, need need for speed most wanted. Um, you might see here that there's a few. There's a China, European, Japan, Korean, and uh, U.S. version. I'm not sure what the difference between the two are, but I'm pretty sure uh, it has something to do with the uh, language. So click on the one you want. Um, under quick navigation, click download links, then uh, download Need for Speed Most Wanted, and once again, download Need for Speed Most Wanted, and then it should start to download, and I'll be back when this is finished downloading. Alright, our game is just finished downloading. Uh, I'm just going to go to our file manager real quick, and uh, I'm going to move, oops, uh, I'm just going to move uh, my game to a dedicated folder just for my uh, PSP games. I'd recommend you. Oh, keep missing downloads. Uh, I'd recommend you guys do this uh, just to keep things organized. So we'll cut that and paste. Uh, okay. So next, go to our RAR um, app. Oh, it's not in here anymore. All right. Go to our RAR app. Cl click allow. Uh, go to our PSP game, and we're going to need to extract this. So. Um, tap on it and click these uh, books with an up arrow and make sure it's going into our PSP games folder. Click OK. Oh, skip the ad. Alright. Uh, now here's our folder that we just extracted. Now if we go into it, you should uh, see an ISO or a CSO file and that would be our game folder or our game file that we play in uh, the PPSSPP app. Now, here you see that there is no ISO file. Um, this might happen to you, but it's actually in another RAR folder, uh, or n another RAR file, which right here, if you open it, you can see our ISO file here. So I'm going to check on it, or check it, and extract it to our um, PSP games folder, which right here. Click OK, and let that do its thing. Alright, so there we go. You can see our ISO file here. Uh, you can delete these if you want. Uh, I'm just going to keep them. Next, go into our um, PPSSPP app. Okay, so once you have the PSP app open, um, before we actually go and play our games, I'd recommend you mess with the settings. Here we can improve the graphics and uh, make them worse, and overall just uh, improve performance on our games. You probably want to do this, especially if your game is lagging. Um, now I don't actually 100% know what all these do and mean, but in the description I'll actually leave a link for an article that will uh, tell you what to put for all these uh, settings here to um, improve your performance and there's a good balance between um, graphics, the 
overall graphics and the uh, performance of the game. So, um, it also takes you through all these tabs here and tells you what to put. Under controls here, uh, you can actually use a controller with uh, the app here uh, to play your games. And I have a video if you want to use your Xbox controller, Xbox One controller on uh, your phone wirelessly. So check that out, there'll be a little pop up on the screen there. But anyways, here under control mapping, uh, it, the app automatically recognizes the controller. You can use it right off the bat. But if you want to edit the uh, control layout, you can. And under edit touch controls, you can edit the placement of the touch controls and all that good stuff. Um, but now let's actually go and play our game. So uh, to get started, just go into the games tab and you're going to want to navigate to your PSP games folder. So mine's right here. It's really nice if you have all your games in the same folder, like I mentioned before. So all your games will show up here. And you're just going to want to tap on the picture of your game. So I'll just tap on Need for Speed Most Wanted. And there we go. Our game starts up. And that's pretty much it for this. Um, I will actually stop talking here and I'll actually show you guys a little bit of a demo. Um, here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys later.